Hey, this is Dave at houseparents.com. Today we're going to show you how to calculate the tonnage of your AC unit. What I have behind me is the condenser to our air conditioning system, and uh, we've been having some issues with it. What we have here is a train XE1000. This unit is about 20 years old. We even have some freezing issues with it. Uh, the unit's freezing up. If you start to have problems with your air conditioning unit, you need to start gathering some, some basic information before you can uh, start assessing the situation. And the one thing you need to know is the tonnage of your unit. You gotta find out how big it is in British thermal units. And that basically is the heat of a birthday candle. Uh, enough heat to raise one pound of water one degree. Typically in the back of your unit or back or side of your unit you'll find the label with all the information on it. What you're looking for is your model number and typically your model numbers will have a lot of letters and numbers in them and they all mean something specific to the brand. What you're looking for is a two digit even number that can be divided by 12 and when you divide that by 12 you're going to end up with 12 going into that evenly or leaving a 0.5 remainder. And that's how you know you found the right number. So for ours, that's 30. That represents 30,000 BTUs of cooling capacity in this unit. And so we'll go ahead and take do a little simple math here. So we're gonna have 30 or 30,000 BTUs in this unit divided by 12,000 to get our tonnage. 30,000 divided by 12,000 equals 2.5 or 2.5 tons. And that's the size of this unit. Had this unit been a 24 right there, 24 would have been can be divided by 12 two times, so that would make it a two ton unit. If that were a 36 divided by 12, it'd make it a three ton unit. Uh, if it were 42 divided by 12, it'd make it a three and a half ton unit, and etc. Typical residential units be would be between one and five tons. The reason they call it tons or tonnage is it takes 12,000 BTUs per hour to melt one ton of ice in a day. And so that's kind of how the, the nomenclature got started. But for our purposes, all we need to know is how many BTUs the unit has. And uh, that's indicated on this unit by the number 30. Then you divide that by 12 or 12,000 BTUs per hour and you end up with 2.5 or two and a half tons. The reason you want to know this information is because when it's time to get quotes in your unit, they're going to ask you how big your unit is. And you want to make sure that you're getting the same unit that you had before. Uh, you don't want a unit that's too small or too big because there's drawbacks to both. And so having the right information is important as you proceed. Hope this video helps. If you got any questions, drop us a line in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.